It's main event time here on episode three of Pandemic at the Dojo. It's a first time ever singles collision as the girl from Ocean Avenue, Kennedy Copeland, goes one on one with the Prize City OG, Alec Price. Price wants to challenge the ground game of Kennedy Copeland. Tries to pick the leg to bring Kennedy down to the canvas, but Kennedy immediately going for the throat of Alec Price, trying to restrict the airway. Price goes behind, but Kennedy right there again. Price can't seem to get away, and now Kennedy locks that left arm, trying to inflict some damage early on. And I don't want to overstep here, but I think Alec Price may be out of his element here, trying to grapple, trying to shoot with Kennedy Copeland. He may have the size advantage, but Kennedy Copeland trains weakly in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and that's right in her wheelhouse, but she gets run over by the prize Alec Price. Off the ropes goes Price, drop down from Kennedy. She swings behind, off the ropes she goes. And a head scissor sends Alec Price across the ring. But here he comes. Kennedy got the back elbow up in time. And now what does the girl from Motion Avenue have in store for the prize? What a maneuver into the submission. She's got the arm hooked. Kennedy tearing apart the left arm of Alec Price in the early moments of this match. Price trying to stack her up, locks his hands, shoulders down. Only two, Kennedy forced to release the hold. Here comes Alec. She catches the clothesline. Crucifix bomb into the cover. Only a one count there and she transitions immediately back to the arm of Alec Price. Trying to tear that thing out of the socket. Price once again in a horrible position if he has any intention of getting to the bottom rope. Trying to stack up Kennedy Copeland once again. This time, though, gonna rip her into the air. Buckle bomb into the corner. Did you see her head jolt? A very rough landing. Alec Price still favoring that left arm, but gonna tear Kennedy back to her feet. Big scoop and a slam. Into the cover. Only a two count from referee Dickie Christmas. Alec Price, none too pleased, but if we've seen anything from Kennedy Copeland in previous Limitless Dojo tapings, in previous Let's Wrestle outings, she's one of the most resilient competitors on this roster. But that's gonna take it out of anybody. Alec Price just hucking her overhead with a suplex into the cover once again. Only two from referee Dickie Christmas Kennedy continuing to fight. And what the hell does Alec Price have planned now? I have the power! Elevating Kennedy again, power bomb position. Kennedy shifts midair into the cover. Only two, Alec Price popping the shoulder up. Kennedy charges in again, looking for the Tornado DDT, but Alec thought better of that. Price City Power Slam from Alec Price. Still only two. Kennedy cope with hanging tough somehow, and Alec Price can't believe it. Price riding such a high after defeating Antoine Nicholas in episode one. 
elevating and dropping down Kennedy once again. Belly to back suplex. And this could be it for Kennedy into the cover. Dicky Christmas down, only a one count. There's absolutely no quit in Kennedy Copeland, but there is some sign language. Price once again trying to elevate Kennedy Copeland, but she puts on the brakes, connecting with an elbow as well. Oh God, Alec Price splitting her in half. Driving his entire body into her midsection, pushing the air out of her body. And now once again elevating Kennedy Copeland. This time on the second rope and greeted with a chop. And I think Alec Price is looking for something drastic, something to end this thing. Looking for the kill shot as he's trying to scoop Kennedy Copeland off that second rope. Kennedy connecting with body shot after body shot, finally knocks him off the ropes. And here she comes, Alec Price though, plucking her out of midair. And this is not good for Kennedy Copeland. Drop down flat once again, Alec Price into the cover. Only two. Another attempt to close this thing out by Alec Price and yet another two count from referee Dickie Christmas. And Alec Price is pissed off. Now dragging her face across the canvas. Just a blatant sign of disrespect. Oh no. Now trying to tear the hair out of the head of Kennedy Copeland. Absolutely disgusting. Alec again tearing Kennedy up by the hair, restricting the airway, taking a minute to catch his breath, refocus the game plan. Meanwhile, Kennedy Copeland's fighting for every breath. Wrestlers around ringside showing their support for the girl from Ocean Avenue who needs to find an opening and quick. Two straight shots of the abdomen region make it three. But Alec Price headlock takeover brings her back down to the canvas. And it just seems like it's one step forward, two, three, four steps back for Kennedy Copeland anytime she gains ground. Price trying to keep her grounded, but Kennedy's got her legs under her once again. Body shots galore. Can she break the grip of Alex? She does. And look at her go. Swinging at whatever moves. And there's a kick to that injured left arm once again. Nice clothesline, but not enough mustard to take down the Prize City OG. She's going to go back to the well. A second one and still not enough to take down Alec Price. Now Price gonna charge. She catches the clothesline into the neck breaker. Eton bomb, a human cannonball on the chest of Alec Price. Only two. Two resilient competitors colliding in our main event here on Pandemic at the Dojo Episode 3, streaming on independentwrestling.tv and available on youtube.com slash Limitless Wrestling. Here she comes, crashing into Alec in the corner. Put you in corner. And now gonna send him across the ring. Alec though reversing the whip and in she crashes. Kennedy just narrowly escaping Alec Bryce, connecting with a kick to the jaw. And I think Kennedy's gonna fly. Cross body crashing down onto the prize. Still only two. Kennedy needs to stay on the offensive. And I think she's got something in mind waiting for Alec to get back to a vertical base. Blocks the clothesline. Driving that destroyed left arm into her knees. And Alex in a world of hurt. Crashes Alec down face first. And that's prime position for that submission maneuver. Tearing once again at the left shoulder, the left arm of the Prize City OG. And he's in a tough position. A ways away from the bottom rope, but pulling himself there with every ounce of strength he's got left. 
He's fingertips away, but Kennedy gonna tear him back to the center of the ring. Great ring positioning. And now tearing back, putting all of her body weight on that left arm of the Prize City OG. Is he gonna tap out? Is there any way out? Alex got his knees under him though, stacks up Kennedy, feet are on the ropes! Only two! Kennedy Copeland still able to power out. Onto her feet. Kennedy swings the leg over that left arm, tears him down to the canvas, and we're back in submission territory. Kennedy tearing away at the left arm, trying to tear it out the body of Alec Price, who needs to do something and quick. He's in a horrible position. That left arm's gotta be in shambles at this point. Oh, but Alec Price, incredible ring awareness this late into the contest. Great binding his legs around that bottom rope. Kennedy forced to release the hold. And it's back to the drawing board for the girl from Ocean Avenue. What else does Kennedy Copeland have up her sleeve? Oh, good Lord! That was out of nowhere, a knee to the side of the head of Kennedy Copeland, and she may be out. Alec Price bringing her back to her feet. Crashing down onto the knee of Alec Price. This has got to be over for Kennedy Copeland. And it is. An incredible performance by the ever so tough Kennedy Copeland, but moving to 2-0 here at the dojo is the Prize City OG, Alec Price.